So we wanted to create a piece of artwork as part of our five year anniversary celebrations for a couple of reasons. Firstly, because we know that crafting and artwork is something that a lot of our patients enjoy and want to continue to do, but also because of its health and um, well-being and mental health benefits. Um, <clears throat> we know that from our low vision clinic that um, crafting can often be one of the first hobbies that patients are not able to do because they can't um, see what they're trying to do. So we really wanted to create something that would be accessible to everybody. And that's where Marilene came in. So I first met Marilene when um, she was one of the organisers for our local sewing for the NHS group. And as part of her day job, um, she makes a lot of upcycled products such as this necklace, but also runs workshops for all sorts, from children through to adults and um, for all year round. And so I knew she'd be perfect for the job. And the project she designed for us um, surpassed all our expectations. Um, we gave her quite a loose brief of designing a piece of artwork for our patient um, waiting area in the AMD suite and she came up with a brilliant project um, which not only would be accessible for those with visual impairment but due to its tactile and immersive um, qualities means that you can really have a feel for the piece even if you can't appreciate it visually. And Marilyn has kindly said that if anyone wishes to have a go doing a similar project she'd be more than happy to run a workshop for you and we'll pop her contact details at the end. Today we're doing an art project for the walls of the macular suite in um, the old Amersham Hospital to make it a little bit friendly because people who go there uh, and have to use the waiting room uh, have to see consultant for their sight loss and that's always a, a scary time. So we're making it a little bit more friendly by um, making MDF letters and putting all sorts of upcycled um, bits and pieces that we have lying around in the house. Um, and we're spelling out the word hello. What I want you to do is take some of the items on the table and place them on your letter. Do it randomly, doing with shapes, whatever you want to do. I've already pre-prepared one of these for you so you have an example. One without the gold colour and one with the gold colour. So this is ultimately what we're aiming for. with um, people who are visually impaired or um, is that, has that formed part of your work up till now? Is that something that um, like It do? hasn't actually, but in my studio um, everyone's welcome. So I've had children with um, visual impairments in my studio, but I haven't sorted it out. It's just that everyone in my studio is welcome. And it's all soft to the touch, so people with sight loss can just go to the wall where it's hanging and just feel and try to make out what the individual items are. This will be in the waiting room because people who go to the, uh, to the hospital to have their sight loss investigated and to see consultants, it's a very nerve-wracking time so and it's something to put people at ease. 